Hey, what's up guys? Sam here. What's happened? What's crack a -lackin'? It's a uh, iOS 14.2 day. It just came out for everybody. So if you guys head over to settings, general, and you guessed it, software update. Uh, I already have it on my phone. It's just doing like the final update because I was running the beta. So I have a ton of new features. I'm talking, I got lots of new wallpapers. I got lots of new emoji. I have on device recognition for music. Uh, there is so much in this update. Like even, let me just show you guys this. In control center, like this is all new. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jam out in this video. Hope you guys are ready. This is iOS 14.2 and here's everything that's new. All right. So first things first, playing media is a little bit different. If you tap and hold uh, on your control center now playing or even from notification center as well, you're going to get suggestions of what to play, which is super cool. So Apple Music is going to pick up on what you like to listen to. Uh, they know I am into a lot of hip hop. So if I tap on this, oh, such a great song, it's going to start playing. You'll notice that this view is a lot different. Album art is significantly bigger and this also carries over to the lock screen. Oh, it's so much easier to see what's playing. It's not tiny. And there have also been a couple of adjustments to button spacing. So you can see right here, it's nice. I really, really like it. And you'll see this is present everywhere. Even in Notification Center, it's there as well. There have been some tweaks for this section as well and, uh, and sort of navigate to your other stuff or what's now playing. I mean, these animations, guys, they are next level. Super great. I love the new now playing stuff, but that's not the biggest change in this update. that you've probably noticed in my background. Hey, there's something a little bit different with his phone. Yeah, it's a new wallpaper, but that's not my wallpaper of choice. Uh, Apple's done something wild. They've added a number of new wallpapers, but they aren't like, I don't know. They don't feel very Apple to me. So here's one of them. If you get to choose a new wallpaper and then stills, uh, check out this new selection. It's really different. Now listen, this looks kind of Android-esque to me, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just a very different shift. Like you can see Apple has been doing a lot of abstract stuff with iOS 14 and even iOS 13. These were some of my favorite wallpapers in years. And then they went to hyper photorealistic for stuff like this. Uh, you've got these right here. I mean, they look nice because they have a light and dark mode version of each. So they're super defined and they use uh, and take full advantage of the OLED displays. Like they look phenomenal. And then they've got these cartoon-esque ones where it's night or day. Uh, it's pretty interesting. All of these take a super blue hint for night mode rather than going pure black, which is pretty sick. And uh, I mean, this looks like Mac OS wallpapers because Mac OS did get similar wallpapers, uh, if not the same to all of these. So a super big shift for new wallpapers, but like these are here, these are on everybody's new phones with iOS 14.2, and you can enjoy them in light mode or dark mode. Next up, no, it's not Corona time. It is emoji time here on the iPhone. We've got some new stuff and you'll see right away, um, basically they've stripped away all the joy that humanity had left. And by that, I mean, they've added some great ones. So we've got this one right here, um, which I do absolutely consider the uh, the 2020 emoji, just a single tear with like a half smile. That's like the, I I have crippling anxiety emoji. Okay, and then we've got this one over here, um, which is, oh man, that's, that's a little funny face. Look, there's actually a bunch in this update and let me just go ahead and show them to you all right now. You've got a very good, a very healthy selection. Pinched fingers, heart, lungs, ninja, tons of new people, different animals like a buffalo, you got a little beaver of some kind. You got a little seal over there. Uh, and you even got some new things like a worm, uh, stacking dolls, nesting dolls, skate, uh, the trans flag. You've got a boomerang. There's some great, great picks here. And uh, I hope you guys really, really enjoy these new emojis because they're out now. I think there's over 100 in total with the skin tones and gender options. They're here. You even got blueberries because we all love a good blueberry. So take a look at these on your phone. Next up, if you own AirPods, there is a huge new feature in 14.2 that I feel like has not been getting enough coverage, and that is optimized charging. So obviously one of the biggest problems with batteries is that over time they degrade because when you charge them up and down so frequently, well, they just run out of life because that's how batteries work. So with iOS 14.2, Apple's introduced optimized charging, which Apple says will basically make the batteries inside of your AirPods last longer. This was introduced for the iPhone and I think iOS 13 uh, or maybe even iOS 12, like the iPhone will charge up to 80% and then trickle charge the rest um, basically to make sure that the battery is as healthy as it can be. So Apple is adding that for AirPods, which should mean that your AirPods will last longer. I mean, it was a huge issue for anybody that owned AirPods 1 in 2016. 
uh, the batteries just degraded so quickly. So this is a huge feature and I'm super happy to see Apple adding it because they essentially just gave your AirPods more life through software. And also if you're listening to music, there are new headphone audio notifications. So if the level of what's playing gets too loud, you can actually receive a notification about that. And it's not just AirPods, I believe this is for all headphones. Next up on iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max, there's a new feature in Magnifier where before this would, uh, there's this cool feature called people detection in this. So you could like point it at someone and see how far away they are from you. This is great for like if you're trying to monitor social distancing and you are someone who has a disability. This now uses the LiDAR sensor on iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. So it's even more accurate than just the camera guessing. It's uh, literally shooting a laser out and will tell you the exact distance that someone or even something is away from you. For the new iPhone 12 series, iOS 14.2 also supports the leather sleeve accessory, which is interesting because it's not out yet and Apple hasn't given a release date so far. It's the one with the little window that basically looks to enable an always on display of sorts. So if you care about that feature, you could potentially get it through the Apple leather sleeve case. Again, it's not out just yet, but when it does launch, your iPhone supports it with iOS 14.2. Now, of course, we have one more feature to talk about in this update. We couldn't get through without a small COVID update, unfortunately. Uh, there's a new option for exposure notifications to, if you have them enabled, send data anonymously to public health authorities to basically improve the feature in the future. It is not yet available in my area, um, and I'm starting to have doubts that it ever will be. I mean, exposure tracking is genius when it's uh, available. And also, exposure notifications are now disabled by default when you restore from an iCloud backup that had them enabled, or you're like transferring data from one iPhone to another. Uh, Apple obviously wants to make sure that you have specifically opted into this functionality. And now we get into a slew of major bug fixes which Apple has included in the update, some of which personally affected me. I want to hear if they affected you as well. The first was that uh, app icons on your dock could somehow get out of order. A weird one, for sure. And I don't even think it just affected the new iPhones. I think it was just like in general, your app icons could not be where you expected them to be placed on your dock. Sometimes on other devices, the camera viewfinder would be black even after you opened up the app. Like there's always that expected like little half thing while the cameras basically activate, but uh, it would stay for longer than expected. 14.2 has addressed that. When trying to unlock your phone on the lock screen, uh, the keypad presses would not sometimes be registered, which I have experienced, you know, with everybody wearing masks, which is a good thing. You know, face ID does not work the best. So you gotta enter your passcode. And I noticed there was some weird, st oh no, I didn't mean. That's what happens when you're just entering passcodes when you're making a video. You don't really expect it and then you're here. Reminders could sometimes default to times in the past, which is obviously problematic. Apple's also got that in the iOS 14.2 bug fixes. Next up, if you use the photos widget, there's been an issue corrected where photos sometimes wouldn't show up, which you know, it could be a good thing if you're recently going through a breakup. Uh, you don't want to constantly get reminded of that, but maybe a bad thing if you uh, <laughs> if you actually want to see what's up with your photos. For whether a couple of fixes on the widget out here, sometimes the high temp would show in Celsius. So it wouldn't be 75, it'd be a totally off number, which could be hecka confusing out here. And then also if you go into weather and then you look at next hour precipitation, there's an issue sometimes in previous versions of iOS where features super handy, right? But it would show you incorrectly when the rain was actually expected to stop, which, you know, could throw off all your plans or your day. Um, or you could just, you know, look outside and maybe figure it out that way. If you ask Siri to send Apple Cash, sometimes that would fail. Um, I'm interested to see what their response is going to be. Yeah. Exactly. Who who am I requesting money from Siri? Um, but that would fail sometimes. Apple says they fixed it. Netflix gets a shout out in the release notes as well because sometimes the screen would be black during playback. So, oh, this is such a good show. But iOS 14.2 addresses that so that it works as expected. But I mean, hey, that's free promo for Netflix and the change log. I think this is basically confirmed that Apple's buying Netflix. No, I'm just kidding. When you were recording a voice memo, sometimes phone calls could interrupt what you were recording. Apple also says that's been addressed in 14.2. Next up for the Apple Watch, there's actually a new icon here. Now it looks very similar, but it's actually a little bit different. Apple has updated it, you know, in the most Apple way out there to reflect the solo band that they release. So it no longer has a little clasp like my sport band that I have on my wrist. You know, it's just the solo band. Apple's also addressed an issue inside of the Apple Watch app where it would crash or fail to work unexpectedly. And there was that issue where workout GPS routes wouldn't be syncing properly. Apple also says that 14.2 finally fixes that. So if you have an Apple Watch and you've been wanting to track everything like when you're running or biking or hiking, it should sync and you can see those routes now. There was a weird fix in this update as well for wireless charging. Uh, it just wasn't working in some cases. So if you experienced any issues whatsoever, 14.2 addresses that. So you should be able to, you know, 
charge this charge this baby up whenever you need to. And finally wrapping things up, there have been a number of fixes security wise as well. Uh, you guys can see it's been kind of a lot. So there are a number of exploits that Apple has patched in this update for 14.2 also on iPadOS that I would definitely, you know, recommend seeking out just to make sure that you don't fall into any of these exploits and have your personal data, you know, potentially at risk. So this is iOS 14.2. It's by far the biggest update we've seen post the launch of iOS 14 thus far. Some brief changes to widgets, a new Apple Watch icon, wallpapers, and emojis, new now playing. It's all here with iOS 14.2. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. I've been Sam. I hope you're doing great. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you in my next video.